So you want to do fingers on your violin, but you have no idea where to start. I definitely agree with using tapes for the fingers. Um, if you'd like to debate me on that, bring it. So um, the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that our instrument is set up properly. Make sure that your bridge is in between these two F holes and straight. Uh, and then we need to make sure that our instrument is in tune. My poor phone is always filthy. I'm on it constantly. So let's see if that helps at all. So I use a tuner to make sure that we are right in the middle of this. And your instrument will sound differently when you pluck it than when you play it with the bow. So we're just going to bring this up to tune very quickly. right in the middle of the grain. So then you need to decide what you're using for tape. Uh, you can use labels. You have to cut them down to size. And this can sometimes be a pain trying to get a very straight line, one that's thin enough or thick enough. Um, after doing this with um, labels and electrical tape, for 10 years. I have finally, finally, finally bought beautiful colored tape where my students get to choose um, one color or four different colors. It depends on what's up to them. So I'm just going to pick at random. Reach my hand in. And so I really like the um, I like a little bit of thicker tape. I don't like to use the pinstripe tape because I have these massive hands and um, pinstripe tape is, is a little bit too precise, I think. I tell my students that tapes and fingering charts are guidelines, they are not absolutes. So you still have to use your ear. This just takes away a little bit of that guesswork. You can feel it under your fingers, but not a whole lot. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to slide this underneath of the uh, strings and on the fingerboard and I'm going to have it about an inch, um, like two and a half centimeters or so. Uh, and then I'm going to once again use my tuner to put my finger down on it and first finger on the D string is E. So it says I'm a little bit flat. And let's check our other strings. A, B. So I'm still a little bit flat. So E, F sharp is what we want it to be. So it's a little bit flat. So we're just going to move it. Sometimes you tear the tape when you do that. Do not get, get discouraged. So my fat fingers I like to do it. So remember, they're not absolutes. I leave a bit to hang over. This might be a little bit too much so that it does secure um, the back so it has less chance of slipping around. If you hold your, your neck too tight, you will wear this off very quickly. Now, tapes like this um, and uh, all of the tapes, they do leave behind some residue when you take them off. It's not going to hurt anything um, you can, I actually use a paper towel to wipe it off or I keep rubbing it with my thumb to remove that residue once I do take tapes off of my instrument or my students' instruments. So let's go at random, ha, ooh, blue, a cool blue. And we're going to try to find where that end of that ooh, blue tape is. So tear off the portion. Now the next finger that we have, our second finger. On the D string, it'll be F sharp. On the A string, it'll be C sharp. On the E string, G sharp. And on the G string, it's going to be B natural. So we want to go a full step. So if that was our full step, we're going to do another one of those. So F sharp for our D string. 
Ooh, that was almost spot on. Let's hope you can see this. So across the board, it is pretty on. And once again, I'm going to wrap this around. All right, then we're going to do the same with the third finger. I think the third finger and fourth finger are easiest to do. I'm gonna go with pink, I chose that one. <laughs> one of my favorite colors because rainbow is a color, right? One of my students said that my favorite color should be sparkle because I love my sparkles so much. All right, why this is so easy to do is because it's pretty darn close to that second teeth. And then you also get to use the other fingers or the other strings for it. So on D string, we have E, F sharp, G, and this is G string. So we can use that to check it. So this is D, this is A, B, C, D. So I'm going to check it with that open D string. And then on our E string, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. I'm going to use that. So and you can always double check with this. And wrap that around. Now, why is fourth finger so easy? Because just for the opposite thing for the same reason, but on the other side, uh, we are going to be using the higher string as a double stop. So let's do random. Ooh, that's going to show up like white on there, I think. Fourth finger does need a little bit more because we're so close to where the neck attaches. All right, so this is another whole step. And so we're going to guess about there. And so D, E, F sharp, G, A. That's the same as our open A. So I'm just going to use that first finger and make sure they sound the same. Now that A is a little bit better. So it sounds better when I'm a little bit higher. So I'm going to move it ever so slightly up. That's not. around this side's longer we have this bend here so it should have been my tape let's get some striper and now you have your finger 